torque coasters. Can you sublimate on them? Actually, yes. But a couple caveats, a couple things you need to think about. We're going to talk about it. I should give you a little demonstration coming up. I'm Roger walking with the shop and one of the questions I had uh, from one of the viewers was can you sublimate directly onto a cork coaster? You can buy these on Amazon, they're inexpensive. And yes you can, but you need to think about a couple things. This is not white, it's kind of a brown color. So your colors are going to be washed out and it will not transfer like it would to something with a uh, synthetic base like polyester or something like that. But you can get it to transfer. It is permanent. It does not wash off. It doesn't dissolve when somebody puts a cold, wet drink on it. There's a couple other things you can do, though. Um, we're going to do one demonstration here with uh, putting clear vinyl on this. Oracle 651 Clear will sublimate onto that. It'll make the graphic pop better. But still, since it is not a white background, the colors will not be as true. However, if you're using black, which is something I'm going to demonstrate here because I've already made the graphics up here and I'll take you to the computer and show you how I did this. Okay, so the program I'm going to be using here is Inkscape to set up these graphics for these court coasters. I've got my documents set up here at 8.5 by 11. Uh, it opens up uh, default at A4. You need to change it to 8.5 by 11. Although A4 is very close. I'll change my dimensions to inches. I'll lock my little padlock so when I bring my graphic in I can bring it in and everything will stay in proportion. Down here to import and I'm going to be doing coasters. And the first one I'm going to do is don't ask just pour. And I'm going to bring in the SVG for this. Okay this is like just giant too large. So these uh, cork coasters are three and three quarter inch diameter. So I'm going to make this on the long dimension here. We'll go 3.5. I don't like going right to the edge. So now I got to go find my graphic here. It's up there somewhere. There it is. Drag him back over. Page over there. I want to set it up. And yeah, let's import another one. So I drink too much whiskey. How about that one? And we'll do the same thing here, changing this long dimension to 3.5. And I'll have to go chase that one down. And let's bring in another one here. Age only matters if you are whiskey. Same thing again. Change the size. And I think I'm going to make another one of those. So I'll just do a copy and paste. That's Control C, Control V. Now I got another one. Bring that over here. Now since we're going to be sublimating these face down, we need to mirror it. And I do that in print. I'll show you how I do that here. I'm going to file, print. I'm using the Epson 2720. Go to Preferences. I always do a print preview. You want portrait, premium presentation paper matte for your sublimation paper, quality high. Of course, this is black, but we're going to use this. I'm going to use color anyway there. Makes no real difference whether you use color or just black. Appear to more options. Make sure high speed is turned off. You want to turn on mirror image. So click OK. Click print. It'll bring up the preview, and there it is, mirrored. I'll just send it to the printer. For two of these here, I'm going to apply this Oracle 651 clear vinyl to it. And I've got some three and three quarter inch round circles on my Cricut. Get a hold of it.
Make sure there's no air bubbles in that. Okay, there's my graphics that we just printed out, and I also printed a, uh, a color one I'll be using on one of the uh, ones with the vinyl on it, just to show you the difference. First thing I'm going to do here is cut these out in, uh, in the individual squares, and then we'll get into placing them. Okay, for placing the graphic. Take your coaster here, both sides are the same on these. And you'll need to get that centered on there, and if you look at the other side, You'll be able to see through that pretty well. You can kind of get things centered up the way you want them. And just take a couple pieces of heat tape to keep things in place. Okay, for this one here, I'm going to use one of these that has the uh, clear vinyl on it. Hopefully it won't stick too bad because sublimation paper tends to stick to vinyl sometimes. And for the last one with the vinyl on it, I'm going to do a uh, my little lizard here again. And I know that graphic is a little bit bigger than the coaster, but this was a leftover graphic from something else. So we'll get as much of it on there as we can. So we got these ready, we'll take them over to the heat press. Okay, we're at the heat press. Our time and temperature is 385 for 90 seconds. I'm going to do these one at a time. I could do several at a time, but we're going to do one at a time here. A little piece of parchment paper on top here. This is the end of a roll, so it's a little curly. There's our first one. These will be hot. You definitely need to have some gloves on. And the paper stuck to my vinyl, so I have to let that one cool to do that. This is the one with the color. Okay, I do a couple of comparisons here. This is uh, sublimated directly onto the cork black. It's, this always looks better than trying to use a color. Uh, sublimating directly on there when you're using a color, you'll end up, it'll be somewhat washed out. And of course, since it does not have a white background, the colors will not be true. By putting a piece of uh, clear vinyl on there, sublimating to the vinyl, you get a little bit more intense graphic, but the colors are still not true. So if you are going to be sublimating on the cork, you really need to use just dark colors. Uh, these bright colors aren't going to work too well on the cork. Well, comparing this, uh, I didn't get that real clean, but, well, let's see. 
compare these side by side. This one here has the clear vinyl on it as a base, and this one is directly on the cork. Not a whole lot of difference. Uh, this white on here, I didn't wash that off as well as I should have. Uh, if you are using the vinyl method in your paper sticks, don't just try to throw it away or peel it off or scrape it or something. Just put it in the sink, put, get it wet, let it sit there for a couple minutes. The paper will peel off, it'll leave this white film on. Uh, a magic eraser takes that off, you just need to spend the time to do the whole thing because that kind of missed the edges here a little bit. But got in a little bit of a hurry there, but I can go back and obviously water isn't going to hurt this. Um, okay, are these permanent? Yes, this is permanent. This is not going to come off. Somebody puts their cold, wet drink on there, and no, the ink isn't going to come off or spread or run or anything else. So the next question I'll get is, well, how will they hold up out in the sun? I don't know. I haven't tried it. Uh, if, I don't think that's something you're going to want to just leave out in the sun all the time. I would imagine that if you did, the sun would eventually fade it. I know that UV light will eventually break down the cork. So that's something to keep in mind. But that's just a little uh, something different you can do with sublimation. These are inexpensive. I generally laser engrave these on the laser and use this, this same graphic. But just laser engrave it, but not everybody has a laser. Maybe you like to make these. You're doing sublimation. You've got the, the heat pressed. And you can do this with the Cricut Easy Press just as well. Uh, it works just the same. The 385, 90 seconds. It's pretty good pressure on it. So if you got anything out of this little uh, coaster tutorial, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.